May we ask you your question, Mr. Chernoff? I just have three questions, Mr. Gongawer, about this. You work currently work for AEG. AEG Live. AEG yes. Live. And AEG Live is part of a of a lawsuit currently involving this situation? Yes, sir. In fact, AEG Live is being sued by Katherine Jackson. That's right. Are you familiar with the allegations that are being made? The objection, is, the objection is sustained at this point under 350 and 352. <coughs> may I have a second, Judge? You may. Mr. Gongwer, I want to make sure that I, I, I ask this right. I may not have asked it correct the first time. You, you were not, would it be fair to say you were not involved at all in the creation of the contract or circumstances of the contract or terms of the contract between AEG and Dr. Conrad Murray? That's correct. Objection the testimony. Is that your testimony today that you, you were not involved? Well, could is, that, you, is that a correct statement? Could you repeat that, okay. sir? Were you involved in the formation of the contract between Dr. Murray and AEG Live or AEG? No. The objection is overruled. Were you, do, you have, do you have any personal information about the, the provisions and clauses and information in the contract between AEG and Dr. Conrad Murray? Objection asked and answered. Overruled. Please answer. No. Right. Thank you, Mr. Conway. Mr. Chernoff, thank you. Ms. Brazil, uh, redirect, please. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Gongaware, when you met at Carrollwood in early June, the topic of your discussion about what you could do as the production team to get Michael Jackson what he needed to succeed in his rehearsals that included things such as nutrition and sufficient rest and scheduling, correct? Yes. Mr. Gongawer, Defense Counsel asked you about your impression of Dr. Murray's relationship with Mr. Jackson, and you described it as friendly and caring, correct? Um, Do you understand my question? I understand your question. I'm not exactly sure what I said, but it, it was. Yes. Let me ask it. Let me ask it again. Defense counsel asked you to characterize your observations of Dr. Murray and his relationship with Mr. Jackson, and I believe you agreed that it was a caring relationship that you observed. Do I have that accurate? Yes, it was. Mr. Gongaware, did you have any idea when you met with? Mr. Jackson and the others who were concerned about Mr. Jackson's health when Conrad Murray was present, that Conrad Murray was giving Mr. Jackson nightly doses of propofol? I had no idea. When you contacted Conrad Murray to engage his services as a personal physician for Mr. Jackson at Mr. Jackson's request, was Mr. Uh, excuse me, was Dr. Conrad Murray surprised when you reached out to him to negotiate a contract for his services as personal Objection physician? Call. Calls for speculation as to what Dr. Conrad Murray felt, thought, his state of mind. I'll sustain the objection to the characterization. You can ask in terms of 800 of the evidence code uh, if uh, there's an issue of lay opinion. Mr. Gongaware, when you <coughs> called Conrad Murray to initiate the discussions concerning his services as a personal physician for Mr. Jackson. When you introduced yourself, do you have an opinion whether or not Conrad Murray seemed surprised that you were contacting him to discuss possibly retaining his services? It's the same objection, speculation. Overall, it's uh, 800. You may answer it if you're able. I, I didn't sense that he was surprised. Did you have to go into a long and elaborate explanation as to why you were calling? No. And just so we're clear, it is Conrad Murray who said 
I need five million a year for my services, correct? That's correct. You testified that in your experience it is not unusual to have an artist or a performer retain the services of a personal physician, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. In your experience, is $5 million a year a usual sum for physicians for one year time? No. It's not unusual or it is unusual? It is quite unusual. How so? Too high or too low? Oh, way too high. Thank you, Mr. Gongaware. Ms. Brazil, thank you. Mr. Chernoff, recross exam. In reality, Dr. Murray could have asked for $100 billion. It still would have been a ridiculous amount. Objection. For you, correct? Relevance. It's argumentative. Sustained. Five million is just a ridiculous amount, right? In my opinion. Yeah, it is. In fact, you didn't know exactly what you needed to pay a doctor either, did you? I had a general idea. Your, your general idea was based on not only um, past experience, but you also made a couple phone calls. You made one phone call, yes. To a doctor. To a doctor, yes. Uh, and this was between the period of time, the offer of $5 million and ultimately the $150,000. Yes. At the time that, that Michael Jackson was asking for a, a personal physician, the discussion that was had with Michael about Jackson about why he needed that involved his health. Is that right? Um, yes. I mean, I, I, let me let me go. I, I want to be more specific because I don't want to put word misstate what you said yesterday. Michael Jackson said, "My body is a machine. I need it to be fine tuned, or something." You said something like that. He said, we need to take care of the machine. Right. Was there any further discussion about com complaints or concerns or medical um, disabilities or conditions that he had? No, he, sir. There was no conversation about that at all. Is no, that sir. right? That's right. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Ms. Brazil, is there any re redirect? No, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Gongawar stepped down subject to recall, Ms. Brazil. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Chernoff? Yes, thank, thank you. you. Mr. Gongawar, I want to thank you for your testimony. Sir, please don't discuss your testimony or the facts of the case with any other witnesses until we finish the trial. And while you may step down and leave, you are to remain on call during the rest of the case, and you're subject to recall if necessary. Thanks. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Ms. Uh, Brazil, Mr. Walgren. Thank you, Your Honor. The people call Kathy Jory. And would counsel be kind enough to retrieve the exhibit, please? Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, sure. You may. 